Hey there, my name is John Henry Sheridan and uh, <clears throat> welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching and uh, if not, welcome back. Um, so I haven't been putting up that many videos this year, 2019, various reasons. Um, anyway, so basically life, put it that way. And uh, <clears throat> this channel is more of a hobby, so that's what happens with hobbies sometimes. Um, Anyway, but I do want to create value in my own life and to share what I find with you guys who are watching in case it might help to create value in your life so or help you to do so. <clears throat> so I'm doing a little video about archiving because that's what I've been into lately. Um, so I'll say my age. I'm 38. So archiving probably has a little bit more meaning for someone in a later stage of life, meaning not if you're uh, 12 years old, it might not mean so much, but maybe, I don't know, but uh, probably middle age and certainly later, um, there's more stuff to archive. There's more archive stuff. <clears throat> um, so I just want to explain that um, part of it, my desire, what is archiving? So. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't look up the di dictionary definition, but to me, archiving is creating a uh, system of retrieving uh, old stuff of value, right? It's a system of retrieving old stuff with value, meaning, right, uh, what goes into an archive for me is photos, from my life, from my former bands, just from my adventures and my ordinary life. Uh, also, um, <clears throat> music, because I'm a musician. I have a lot of uh, recordings <clears throat> that are not official that I hold for some reason. And I realize, you know, there are most of them on cassette tapes. So, uh, I'll show you that in a moment. And uh, cassette tapes are finite. They, they could die at any time or become less and less quality. So I thought maybe transferring them to digital. Uh, you could do that with old VHS video. You could put those in your archive, transfer them to digital. Now, some of this stuff requires money. Some of it doesn't. It all requires time and definitely effort. But the most important key ingredient to archiving is... Um, having a system or having a, a vision too, to realize that there is a purpose for it because it could all become uh, purposeless if you kind of get lost in the, get lost in it. Part of it's to review your life and what you've accomplished, but also I think the, for me, the more uh, prominent reason for it is to leave a record of my life for all those who might be interested. Now, when I was younger, I thought, meaning I was going to be a famous rock star, so everyone's going to want to know all the details of my life. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen, but um, still, I'm a human being that lived at a certain time in history, <clears throat> who had certain experiences that uh, may be of value and of interest to future generations. Certainly, my son, I hope, would be interested in it, but maybe even uh, some of my younger students at one point might be interested if it was available to them online somewhere uh, and if I have some fans out there who like my music or whatever I do um, in the public realm who might be curious they could access it too but even as a historical record if someone in 200 years from now wants to know about living in the 1980s and 90s and early 2000s <clears throat> and they could access someone someone's records like myself and learn why not so that's that that's what i mean by having a vision uh, otherwise archiving becomes like oh it's just for me who cares you know it's no it's not it's not just for me but it definitely is for me because i'm learning about my life and so just a little bit about why um okay i'll tell you a little bit about the process uh, but first i want to tell you about why what i'm getting out of it what I'm getting out of it is um, sometimes, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going through a midlife crisis, 
at 38. But I do sometimes wonder what the heck am I doing? <laughs> and, uh, you know, where is my life headed? But also, where have I come from? Is part, plays part of that, you know? And uh, sometimes you have a vision for what your life is going to look like when you're younger. And then you kind of are not younger anymore. And the vision is different from what you thought it was going to look like. So you have to kind of make sense of it. So I am, I am personally pleased where my life is. But it doesn't mean that there's not a lot of uh, work that needs to be done for me to understand why I am where I am and who I am. Because I've evolved a lot. And I, have, I think I enjoy understanding that process. <clears throat> Puts things in perspective. So... Um, so I'm getting out of it this like larger life perspective, appreciation for who I am and where I'm at. Um, and it's making me, you know, want to connect with some of the people in my past as I look through these old photos and listen to old music. Even if not, I literally connect with them just like on a spiritual level, sort of like have my peace with these many characters I've come across in my life. Um, some of them died some of them I just won't don't see anymore and most likely won't no need to reconnect some of them I do have connections with and I just want to keep those alive in the healthiest way and then I also learn about how much I've grown it's very fascinating you know seeing what I used to look like all the changes I've gone through physically hearing how my voice has changed listen to these old tapes uh, <laughs> I I believe I've lost my um, Brooklyn accent more and more. Maybe I still have one. I, I people say I do, but believe me, it was much stronger when I was a kid. Uh, and um, also just to hear how to see what kind of a character I was. I have recordings from when I was uh, 12 years old, 13 years old, 14, and my character is so different but some parts are similar you know it's interesting so i'll just show you some part of the process <clears throat> so i had these albums filled with some just family stuff from from the 80s they're empty now because i emptied them uh but the a bunch of albums that were filled and you know i think Having photos, the purpose is to look at them. Otherwise, why do you have them? Or to enjoy them or learn from them. Or have others enjoy them or learn from them. So, throughout the years, I've filtered them throughout a lot of stuff. But I kept a lot. And uh, anyway, so now I'm deciding I'm going to organize things chronologically. I never did that before. It was always by more theme. Uh, and this is what my chronological thing looks like. I'm doing this with my mother as well through her photos but I every year to the best of your ability a lot of years I can't get but the more you do it the more you kind of say oh I had that haircut I remember when I graduated I had this haircut from eighth grade so then you can kind of piece together what happened that year or the year after and uh, it's pretty fascinating to see how looking back the difference between uh, the age of 10 and 12 was great between 12 and 15 huge difference between 15 and 20 you, you know then a lot of years are blurry it's, it's, it's interesting it's an interesting process and then I have all these cassette tapes which I've been tempted to throw out over the years you know these are like uh, my early bands <clears throat> the sound quality is really poor and then uh, in college my more advanced bands, <clears throat> advanced meaning more polished and mature. And, you know, I don't know what the grand vision is for putting all these onto digital, except that it's fun to preserve them, to kind of like archive them, you know, to have the details, as much details as possible to be put into the MP3 file. This is what I'm doing. And, uh, listening to through through and also rediscovering old songs that are gems in part of this process which i did with the cd at the end of last year and a release in early january was um 
I found these old, eight old songs and I created a new album from it, from 2001. But why not? Why not? One day I'm going to be gone and I will, meaning I'll have died. And I, I want to know that I've left as much of the gifts that I have to give um, my creations, that I've given that to the world as much as possible. Whether I'm, I'm wildly famous or rich or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take away from the value of some a human being's crea creation. And this, of course, applies to you. <clears throat> Your creation is valuable because you're a unique being with a unique past and present and unique future and and life and perspective and what you have to offer can be of value um and i will say you know of course we, we learn from each other's mistakes so sharing our mistakes uh can be beneficial but i really think it's important to choose which mistakes we want to showcase and you know which ones we just want to let be you know if if there's something if I made a mistake and I could say my character when I was at this age was like this and I learned that was a character flaw and I polished it out and now I'm more like that and I could show you a picture demonstrating that maybe there's value in that but some things sometimes you have to let sleeping dogs lie with with our past of course too um, so I think that's it uh, so I think I, I may make more of these archive videos but I'm not sure um, because, uh, like I said, this YouTube channel is my hobby, and that's fine. All right, so I hope you enjoy your hobby. I hope you enjoy your life and telling your story and uh, rediscovering yourself as an archivist. Ciao.